Podcaster again. I'm doing another video about politics, and I know it's everybody's favorite subject, but uh, anyways, so the other day I saw a headline on Yahoo that said, uh, it was from the Washington Post or some shit about uh, Donald Trump's foreign policy advisors that he just hired or whatever, and what was interesting is uh said he is decidedly non-interventionist or something like that. So I took a look at some of the people that he purportedly has uh, hired on, and I almost think it's maybe, uh, I don't know if they're just trying to cover up the fact that it's actually the opposite, or it's uh, Orwellian doublespeak or what. But anyway, so... A few of the people are highlighted in this article, so... What the fuck? Uh, Keith Kellogg, uh, former Army Lieutenant General. Kellogg is currently executive vice president of his defense contractors. He is. Okay. So defense contractors typically are not non-interventionists as far as what I think. Oh, so here we go. Per the post, he has experienced in national defense and homeland security issues and also worked as COO for a coalition provisional army in Baghdad following the invasion of Iraq. Okay, so you're going to sense a theme here, which is very, very hypocritical and very contradictory to what Trump has said in many statements. So, Carter Page, a managing partner of Global Energy Capital and a longtime energy executive who previously worked at Merrill Lynch, who his area of expertise is the Caspian Sea region and economic development in the former Soviet states. Ooh, that's ooh. So I, if you're familiar with uh, some of uh, Brzezinski's books that have influenced a lot of the foreign policy of the last you know thirty or thirty five years, you would know that when they're talking about the Caspian Sea region, uh, you know you can get into some conspiratorial thinking with regards to uh, Afghanistan and so forth, and some of what's happened in the last 25 years. It's kind of a, a little bit creepy. George Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos is leader of an, it, all this energy people. International Energy Center at the London Center of International Law Practice has worked in the past for a conservative leaning Hudson Institute. Ugh. The Post notes that he was also a former advisor to former GOP president of Ca presidential candidate Ben Carson. Oh, God help us. Oh, shit. Okay. Waleed Ferris. Ferris, who was born in Beirut, Beirut Lebanon, currently teaches as, at the National Defense University. Uh, actually, there was some stuff about him that I read, some controversial stuff with some groups in Lebanon, but I don't have the article right now. I wanted to make a point in this article about some other things first. So, I mean, a point, point in this video, excuse me. Joseph E. Schmitz. Now, this is the one where the alarm bells just rang a lot. So, Schmitz previously served as Inspector General of the Department of Defense during the early years of President George W. Bush's uh, administration and controversial security firm Blackwater Worldwide. Oh my God. So this is where I was just like, oh my God, this fucking, this Trump thing is just, it's a, it's a sham as far as, as far as people thinking that it's like some kind of a maverick kind of uh, isolationist or uh, non-interventionist or, you know, more domestically focused thing. Cause the guy works for fucking Blackwater. Okay. And he was indicted as well. So the Post was able to confirm he had been working for Trump's campaign the last month, taking part in several conference calls and briefings over the time period. Chairing Trump's foreign policy committee is Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions. Uh, okay, so I don't know. Okay, so that is really scary stuff. You know, if you want to look into Blackwater, you know, they did a lot of shit in Iraq, Iraq that's really fucked up. So non-interventionist my ass more like a a new neoconservatism especially with all the stuff about torture that's come out but he's that he's saying and all this stuff i mean i would be very afraid of this man you know of donald trump because i don't know if that was in his intention to go this way originally but maybe because they know you know they think he's going to be He's going to win the nomination. They, you know, all the fucking special interests, these 
really extreme people have come forward to help him out and including this i mean this joseph schmitz i mean this guy is just oh my god so it's almost like if uh let's say michael moore all of a sudden decided to like uh what i'm trying to say like run for uh mayor and all the and then he like his his like his like uh team was full of Halliburton people or some shit you know it's like it's i mean well i i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's like that because donald trump just said all that shit about 911 and iraq i mean he said he said some stuff really accusing the bush administration of a lot of stuff and all all of a sudden well let's pick a a george w bush uh insider wow so and one of the worst, some of the worst fucking uh, people to pick. I mean, it's pretty scary. So, if anybody thinks he's different, like he's a, uh, you know, more like Rand Paul than than W, they, you know, they're in for a treat, I guess, if they do, if you do vote for Trump. Uh, basically, you know, this to me, all this stuff adds up to neocon, unfortunately. So, I'm actually disappointed because I'm not a Trump fan, but I thought. That he really was a little bit more reasonable about some of this stuff. But this clearly points out to the fact that he is not. And that's all.